Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and I've got a, another Photoshop tutorial for you today. This one's actually going to com combine some photography and Photoshop and it's actually a question that I got from Charles who sent me this image of this uh, antique portrait and wanted to know how he could reproduce this look. And so I'm going to break this down. We'll probably do it in two parts so that it fits within the uh, YouTube time frame. But uh, I'm going to look at two different things. One, creating the image here in the middle, the actual image, and then the second part will be kind of the presentation and, and giving it this old time look. And all that kind of works together to to make it. Now the first thing we have to do obviously is take the photograph. So before you take the photograph, you kind of when you're trying to copy something like this, you've got to study this one and look at the elements of what is giving it that old time look. And there's several factors. Uh, the first one that jumps out at me, of course, is the outfit, uh, the outfit and the and the uh, the mustache here. Um, you could take just about anybody, put this big mustache on and put them in this old looking suit, take a black and white uh, portrait of them just sitting in a chair, and it's going to look like an old time portrait. So that will do wonders for you right there if you just locate um, the the outfit and the someone with his giant mustache like this. But assuming you can't do that, no problem. We're going to just kind of get as close as we can and uh, and move on. Next thing you want to look at is uh, the pose. And, you know, back when this image was created, the, the cameras took a long time to take a picture. You'd have to sit there for sometimes several minutes uh, until the uh, exposure was complete. So you're not going to have a lot of people smiling, looking at the camera. Uh, they're generally looking off with a very relaxed, solemn face, just trying to stay still so that it's sharp. And so you're going to keep that in mind with your pose. Finally, the lighting. Uh, you can see that the lighting is done from really up, up above because it's casting these shadows kind of under the eyebrows, under the mustache. Uh, it's clearly a, a pretty high up light as opposed to coming from a window on the side or something like that. You can even see a little bit of the catch lights at the top of the eyes here, which is kind of hard to see on this uh, small image, but um, more or less an upper lighting up here. It's not a huge light source, so I'm going to try and recreate that uh, with my light source. So let me show you what I what I did. Couldn't find anybody with this mustache, so I got as close as I could, and uh, I just had someone in a suit. Now again, it's not going to have nearly the same antique type effect, but um, for the sake of this tutorial, I, I think it'll work for us. Again, I've got him looking off to the side, and uh, we've lit it kind of the same. Got the light up up above, coming down here. He had to bring it down enough to, so that it wasn't totally blocking up the eyes, getting a little light down in there. Uh, but still creating these shadows underneath and around the sides. And I think we've done pretty good. I think the uh, it matches up pretty well. So now we're going to go into Photoshop and see what we can do to take this image to, to closer to this level. Now, you know, the modern camera is going to create so much more, is going to capture so much more information. It's going to be sharper, the color, obviously. So we've got to kind of go back and deconstruct it and, and take away some of these modern technology uh, benefits and start trying to make the image look more like it was taken a long time ago. So uh, a couple of different things. Let's start with the color. Um, we need to take this to a black and white. So we're just going to go several ways to make something black and white. I'm just going to go to image adjust, uh, hue saturation, and bring the saturation down to zero. And that will make it black and white. Um, there's several other things. You can do uh, command shift U. Um, several different shortcuts, but uh, that's a, an, ar an argument for another day. But uh, for the sake of this, just go ahead and go that route. Get it to black and white. Now, we don't want it to be a true black and white or a really cool black and white like this one. We want it to have these warm tones to it. So I'm going to get the eyedropper, and I'm just going to choose an area somewhere in here. Um, I don't want this really light, and I don't want the dark. I'm just going to go in this middle, and it's going to kind of give us this tone right here. What I will do next, I will create another layer, switch to the paint, the bucket, drop my paint on top there. Now, of course, now I can't see anything, but that's no problem. I'm going to make sure I've still got my layer highlighted here. Go up to the mode and change it to color. It's just replacing the color. There we go. Now we can see him again, but he's got a really strong color cast. It's much stronger than this one. So we're going to go over here to the opacity. Let me get this in the middle where we can see both of them the opacity and I'm going to start bringing it down 
until there's still some color. I don't want to go all the way back to black and white, but I want to have a little bit of this this color tone. I've come up here to about yeah, about 77 percent, 75, 76. That's about the right tone where I'm getting uh, through here, looking at his skin versus here. It's not quite black and white, but it's not too colored. So I'm I, I'm good with that right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and just do um, layer, flatten image. You could keep those layers separate, but for the, the sake of this, I think we're not going to go back and ever change that. So I'm going to just go ahead and simplify it. So now I've got my image here. It's getting closer, but um, we've got to do a few other things. And the next thing we're going to jump to is the levels. So I'm going to go up to Image, Adjust, Levels. Now, a couple of things stand out uh, to me in the difference between these two. One is this one's got a, a much lighter overall feel to it. So I'm going to take the little middle triangle here and start sliding it forward till it kind of washes things out a little bit, like that. Also, I've got a lot of area here um, that I think I'm probably going to bring in my white a little bit. I don't want to start blowing out up in his forehead, so, but I want to lighten it up as much as I can. So one of the things I will do is I will hold down the Option key while I'm dragging this, and it will show me when that starts to show up there. I'm just going to come in a little bit like that. Okay, so now it's lighter. Now it's looking a little better like that. One of the other things you'll notice is that there's a, not a lot of the white whites here. You've got this down here. But most of this is much more in a gray tone as opposed to the, we've got a little more specular light here. So I'm going to go down here to the output level and I'm going to bring down this white just a little bit. Uh, maybe to about 240, 235. Again, just kind of graying things out a little bit so it's not so um, crisp. And I think that looks pretty good. So it's said okay. So we're getting closer. Now, let's look at our next thing. The next thing is the uh, sharpness. This is very, very sharp. I mean, I can see uh, individual little eyebrows and the mustache. And here you can see a little of that, but it's not quite that sharp. Especially, I mean, you can't, the texture of the skin here versus here, big difference. So we're going to go in and, and soften it down just a little bit. We're going to do that with a um, uh, filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and it's not going to take very much, probably less than one uh, pixel radius. So we'll come down to, let's go, I'm just going to type it in, let's do 0 0.7. And uh, I'll compare the before and after. Very subtle, can't really see it, but it's just taking a little bit uh, making that just a little bit softer. Now, also over here, we've got this very grainy look all the way through it. And so we're going to have to go back and add some of that grain in to uh, bring this even more into the antique look. So we're going to go up to Filter, Noise, doo -doo -doo, Add Noise. Now, I've got mine set to Gaussian Monochromatic. And we've got to figure out how much to do. Now it's probably going to be somewhere in here. And it's kind of a personal preference. I mean, I can see this all through here. And so I want to be able to see it through there. That's probably a little much. I'm just going to set mine to 8. Hit OK. And that's pretty good. We've got a nice texture through here now, kind of like we have here. And I think those are looking pretty good. So um, I think we're pretty good on this at this point as far as the image itself. I think that's a pretty close reproduction for the inner part of the image. So now what we need to do is take a look at how to put that whole presentation together, and we'll do that in the next video.